Yo, I'm Bernie. And I'm T. Welcome to our channel. And this is our camera gear. Yeah, I'm sure one of those was. Welcome to our apartment and we are wearing our stokies. So today's video is all about our camera gear. Let's not waste any time. We're currently running a Canon M6 Mark II. The reason why we chose this camera is because it is... <laughs> well, as we have currently, we have reason... The reason why we chose this camera is because it's a small mirrorless camera that can fit into all of our bags without any issues. We have all our existing Canon lenses from our Canon 700D. So with a bit of adaption, we can adapt our old lenses to fit our current camera. We are familiar with the Canon operating system and we felt comfortable to continue to stay within the Canon range rather than try and learn a new operating system from a new brand. So the, so the Canon M6 comes with a kit lens. The kit lens that we chose was the 15 to 45 mm which you're seeing right now. This lens isn't the sharpest lens you can get. It is a 3.5 f-stop and I mean it does the job and we're happy with that. Next we have the Canon 50mm. This is Canon's line of the EF mount lenses. It is a 1.8 f-stop and we use it in combination with the Viltrox speed booster. The speed booster allows us to get a close to full frame equivalent and we can also drop that f-stop down to a 1.2. This is personally our favorite lens combination. Next up is Canon's this, no. Next up is Canon's EFS 24mm pancake lens. We originally got this for the 700D, but can adapt it with the Voltrox adapter to the M mount, so we can use it on our Canon M6. It's thoroughly in shooting uh, portraits and... I don't know what portrait is. <laughs> Next up, we have our Canon 75 to 300 lens. This is perfect for those just out of reach shots. It is also an EF mount, and so in order to adapt it to our Canon M6, we either use the Viltrox Speed Booster or just the Viltrox adapter. This is a this is Artisan's 7.5 Prime Fish Eye lens. It has a manual focus as well as a manual aperture. We love to use this lens for a more artistic look and it is great for capturing your environment. And no adapter needed, which is cool. Oreos, Chinese version. Put the Oreo on your forehead. The first one to move it from their forehead into their mouth okay. wins. Okay. Cannot eat it before we play. <laughs> you cannot use your hands. And if it falls, you have to put it back onto your forehead. You ready? Yeah. On the forehead? Oh, yes, forehead. I don't know what tactics I'm going to use. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, no. No, I've got to go again. Go. It's not bad. I don't know. I've got to get this. <laughs> this is, I'm so bad at this. I'm going to try something sneaky. I'm going to take this example. I'm going to do a little bit of friction. Okay. <laughs> Next up is our gimbal. It is Suri. Okay, it's uh, definitely a Chinese gimbal. Um, we got it for a really, really good price. And what I like about this gimbal, it holds our 700D as well as the M6 um, with no problem, um, as well with um, with the lenses that we adapt to it because these lenses can get quite heavy. 
This max payload on this thing is meant to be about 950 grams per kg. And with our speed booster as well as the 50 mil on the M6, we kind of push in a barrier, but it still operates on a low mode and runs smooth. We've had had a little bit of problem when it gets a little bit hot outside. It likes to um, overheat and go a bit like wonky and a bit funny. Um, but other than that, it's been running perfectly fine and I'm really happy with it. Our next accessory is our Boya microphone. It is an entry level microphone that we got when we were in Thailand. It comes with both an adapter for a camera as well as for a smartphone. Our most recent purchase piece of camera gear. I mean, it is a, a lot. So here's the handle of it, I'm sure. A lot sitting over here yeah it's pretty cool it's got it's rgb color so we can change the color of it and go all this in our apartment we're learning about lights and uh, not that familiar with it just yet gopro hero 7 black this thing is a absolute workhorse it's magnificent i strongly recommend this to anyone that's doing outdoors activities um, and isn't that phased about doing too much editing. <laughs> Lastly is our DJI Maverick Mini. It is, my, is the entry level drone for DJI. Um, it, everything that you need is fits inside this box, which is awesome. And that's the reason why we got it. So it's compact and we can travel with it. And I strongly recommend this to anyone that is new to drones and that wants to get some pretty cool pictures and video footage from the sky. If you enjoyed this video and you want to find out anything more about any of the gear that we've spoken about today we will put some links in the description below referring you to other videos that we found very helpful to understand the gear a little bit more do us a solid and give us <laughs> do us a solid and give us a like it would be amazing if you could drop a comment and most importantly subscribe i think it's i don't I know it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> <is> subscribe <laughs> <laughs> peace out guys <laughs> Welcome to our crib. No. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're gonna start. Like, you see, this is why we go first and then ask questions later. The reason why we chose this camera is because it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is an EFS mount. I'm gonna start again. Separately to our kit that we bought. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Hmm. Perfect. Nice. I mean, it's a, it's a process, you know? It's Do you process. want to retake that one from the top? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.